Here's the setup for getting a constant 5 volts to a dash cam. This red wire runs to a 12 volt source in the car that drops down to 9 volts when the car goes to sleep. Uh, it's a fuse in line here. This goes to a voltage converter. This takes between 8 and 22 volts in and by adjusting this screw in the back you can adjust the output voltage. I have it currently set to 5 volts for the dash cam. I just used a mini USB cable tapped into the, the red and black wires to send the 5 volts to the dash cam which is running there. Uh, it's currently drawing about 130 milliamps and this this will jump up when the voltage drops down to 9 volts from the car. Here you can see the voltage has dropped to 9 volts. Still 5 volts going to the dash cam and the current is up to 180 milliamps. From the passenger footwell, we need to remove this cover here. There's four of these little clips to remove. then kind of up and to the right. You can see there in the upper right hand part of the screen there's a heavy gauge wire attached with a nut to the terminal there. Here's what I'm going to use to connect to that terminal. I've got a wire here with an eyelet. And it's important to have a fuse in this line since this wire is significantly smaller than the existing one. And this is an M6 coarse threaded nut. Here's that wire installed. I just used a regular nut for this case. If you wanted to do this permanently it might be a good idea to use a locking type nut. There's not a lot of thread sticking out, you might have to use it upside down. For a ground source on the passenger side, just pulled off this panel here. Then I'm going to use this uh, this grounding screw right here. There's already a factory one here. I'm just going to add mine on there. Okay, there you see I've added my grounding wire. To use that same setup in the driver's footwell. I'm going to move this small panel here. There's two pins and also a T20 screw to remove. There in the upper left hand corner you can see where I've added the nut and the test wire. On the driver's side for a ground source, I attached it behind this panel here. See I re removed this bolt here and attached the ground wire. I tested this setup both in the passenger footwell and also the driver's footwell overnight. The voltage from the car does seem to alternate between the high state of 12 to 14 volts and the low state of 9 volts. Looks like when it charges it's at the higher state. I'm not sure what other conditions have it kick into that higher voltage state. But using this voltage converter you get the 5 volts to the dash cam the whole time.